Hey, what's going on, all you ghouls and ghosts out there? My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, Mouthing Off with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But on tonight's episode, we have another reviews and reactions. And coming back to the channel is... Who are we doing tonight? Oh, okay, coming back to Cecilia. We're going to be reacting to her song, Puree de Papas. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> Just when you think you've, you've heard it all, you, you come across a song called Mashed Potatoes. I, I'm not sure what to expect from that. Um, it honestly it reminds me of... There was a little thing in a Metallica uh, live in S&M with uh, Michael Kamen. Uh, Michael K Kamen was ta basically talking about, if you write fly shit on a piece of paper, they'll play it. So that, this one this kind of reminds me of. Uh, nonsensical, but I don't know. But uh, she's going to do it. Puree de Papas. Link to that original video will be down in the description box. For your feeling pleasure. At your leisure. And this request comes to us by... Sakura Hymex, thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. As always, going into this blind with my off-the-cuff comments. If I recognize a song, I'll definitely let everybody know. I'm going to be as transparent as possible. I do apologize. I had a little brain fart. It happens to the best of us, right? <laughs> uh, if there's any reactions you'd like to see me do, please look in the description box for uh, directions on how to do that. But no more going around. Let's check it out. All right, ghouls and ghosts. Cecilia, puree de papas, mashed potatoes. Dame. Oye, mi vida, yo te quiero pedir. Puré de papa, no me dejes sufrir. Dal pimienta, que condimenta. Todos los besos que me tienes que dar, dame. Mi puré de papa, dame. Dame beso, dame nene. Dame tu cariño, y dame, 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 dame beso y amor. Oye, mi vida, te quisiera comer. Como si fuera tu sabroso. Acariciarte, estremecerte. Aunque los dos quedemos locos de amor, dame. Mi puré. Definitely have like that classic, classic beginning of rock and roll vibe. Maybe fifties, late or uh, late forties. Uh, I, I do want to look at the lyrics. I, I, I was very hard to hear what she was singing about. I did hear Papas at one point. Uh, a couple other little small, small words. Uh, Mi espanol es poquito y pequeño. So I, I want to look at the lyrics if they have any. 
because I'm definitely, it's a very upbeat kind of song. So um, I just want to connect the, the lyrics as best I can. See you in the review section. All right, ghouls and ghosts. That was Cecilia with her song, Puree de Papas, Mashed Potatoes. Link to that original video will be down in the description box. For your viewing pleasure, at your leisure. And again, this request comes to us by Secura Hymix. Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. Now, I couldn't find a direct translation to the lyrics, but I just used um, the lyrics that I found in Spanish and just Google translated it. So uh, let's just check those out. <clears throat> Give to me. Hey, my life, I want to ask you mashed potatoes. Don't let me suffer salt, pepper, seasoning. All the kisses you have to give me. Give me my mashed potatoes. Give me, give me kisses. Give me, give me, oh, give me your love. And give me, give me, give me, give me kisses of love. Hey, my life, I would like to eat you. As if, as if you were t a tasty puree. Caress you, shake you, even if we are both crazy in love. Give me my mashed potatoes. Give me, give me kisses. Give me, give me, oh, give me your love. And give me, give me, give me, give me kisses of love. Hey, my life, I would like to eat you as if you were a tasty puree. Caress you, shake you, even if we are both crazy in love. And basically just rinse and repeat the, the chorus there. Interesting. Um, if if I it's I mean it's pretty simple. I, I think she's saying that mashed potatoes is like the symbol for love in this relationship. So when she wants love, give me mashed potatoes. Now I, I am a huge uh, proponent of mashed potatoes. Uh, one of my favorite ways to uh, do potatoes is mashed potatoes. So. It's very nostalgic, a very homey, like uh, for a home cooked meal, like especially in like the forties and fifties. You know, you have your uh, your meatloaf, your peas, your mashed potatoes and gravy, and I, I, I like how she's when you salt and pepper things in like that. You salt and pepper in. I love you. I love you. You're both crazy in love. It's kind of sweet. I kind of like the lyrics. At first, I didn't know what to expect with mashed potatoes, but um, given the context and the lyrics, I think they fit very, very well. Uh, musically, uh, it was okay. Uh, as I said before in my first reaction to Cecilia, this is not generally like my cup of tea as far as music goes, but uh, you know, I can enjoy it, and I can I, I can kind of surmise what most people might think about this song. Or about, uh, think about the song itself. So, like when I give my like uh, my uh, my scores for it, I always you know give the two. Uh, to be fair, because you know you're not gonna like every song you hear, and if you do, I'm sorry, you're a fucking liar. And just the way it is. Like I said, they had the very late '40s, early '50s beginnings of rock and roll feel I did like her vocal range in this one more than the other one I reacted to um, had some fun with it. it was upbeat had a kind of sway to it I enjoyed that so that being said score and I think uh, they're both one and the same here I am going to give it four skulls out of five absolutely happy with that score for all the reasons I just stated. I, I just think the combination of the, the old school rock and roll being for, for what it is, and, and definitely for me, the vocal work and the uh, the lyrics, it's cute in a very, I wouldn't say tongue-in-cheek way, but like a cutesy like puppy dog love kind of way. It works. It works for me. So yeah, four skulls out of five. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Reviews and Reactions. As always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, 
share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, Melding Love with Mike and Cabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But as always, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared. Ah! Ah!